Hey, what's up you guys? This is Century Productions and today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Hasbro 2-pack Black Widow. So here is the Black Widow that came in the 2-pack with Winter Soldier. Uh, this is the non-variant and uh, I gotta say this is my probably my favorite uh, Black Widow figure. Um, there is a couple problems I have with her but overall I think the sculpt is incredible and the paint application just really blew me away. Uh, at least for what Hasbro uh, did with her um, compared to what they've done in the past so I think they did an amazing job with the paint application and obviously the sculpt is, is, is really nice let's uh, see a couple things that I have a problem with first things first are the guns so she does come with uh, looks like this is the the gun that came with I think some of the female shield agents from the previous two pack line um, so yeah, it doesn't fit in her hand that well, you know, it's, you know, it's, it just doesn't fit in her hand. I guess I could push her hand together and it'd probably fit a little bit better, but her finger's too small for the trigger hole, so it's going to move around. So I don't like that, but of course she came with that gun and she doesn't, and they don't come with any extra pairs of hands. So, um. It's what whatever hand you get, that's the hands you get. And then she also comes with this gun, which is actually the gun that comes on the front pocket of uh, the Nick Fury uh, slash shield agent figure. So that's cool, and that goes in her left hand. I'm sure you can enter, enter you know, she this one fits in her left hand a little bit better. She can hold it a little bit better. But then again, she's like holding it sideways, you know what I mean? It's like can't hold it directly straight so problem a couple problems are with her holding the guns tightly they'll fall out of her hand so you just gotta get them in the right pose and then uh, my second big problem this is probably my last problem is the expression on her face I don't really like that expression it makes her look like an idiot I think uh, but other than that I mean it, I can get past the expression I mean that it, it's a beautiful head sculpt it also does come with this one which I, I like the expression a lot more on let me just take that off and you could um, switch them out with uh, the Sharon Carter or the the um, Maria Hill head I'm sure so you know this this um, I don't I like the long hair a lot better which is why I'll keep the long hair on her but I do like the expression on this face a lot better so let's uh, take a look at her actual sculpt so you can see um, the sculpting on her hair looks really nice got the, the hair just kind of like flowing down very nice then it actually doesn't really hinder the articulation too much so it does go front back a little bit side to side it's on a swivel type of thing so very nice sculpted very nicely and then of course we got like the bust line right here you can even see the the zipper you can see the silver on the zipper right there. Very nice. And, you know, I've been talking to um, uh, Shardimus and Anthony about... Uh, they keep saying they want to make a black cat custom out of, out of her. You know, just kind of just change the hair a little bit, something like that. I'm not really sure which one I should give credit to for thinking of that, but... Um, probably myself, I would say that, the, uh, pro of course myself, um, I was the one that, I, I, comp I was definitely the one that came up with the idea about the, uh, yeah, it's totally me about the black cat custom, so it, it was me for all the, cr I'm just kidding, uh, I think it was Shardimus that first came up with making a black cat custom off of, no, it was Anthony James, anyways, a black cat custom out of this would be pretty cool. Um, and then uh, my favorite part about the paint application, like I was saying, is if my camera could catch it, you could see where the shiny parts on her thighs are, the, the middle of her thigh right here, right here, on um, uh, right here, I'm not meaning to touch them areas, uh, that ain't this kind of video, um, right here, right here, I mean there's a, a hint of this bluish silver on the kneecaps as well, the upper... Um, shin is this hint of bluish slash silver and it just really makes the black pop out it's on the top of the belly too I wish my um oh let's see that'll 
it, it, when you get this figure in person and uh, um, uh, what it seems to be a lot of people are only finding the variants uh, this is definitely the better of the two I believe especially with this paint application when you pick up this figure the, the paint application just really pops out and it's just a really solid nice figure um, it, the paint application really does a very good job and it's the best paint I've seen from Hasbro in a long time so the articulation really quick is upper shoulder which goes front back up and down one joint at the elbow which goes up and down and can do a 360 degree turn. These bracelets are kind of removable and Shardimus was talking about painting them a complete gold instead of this kind of um, plain gold. The hand does go up and down 360 degree turn. Does have that gun holding thing uh, hand. She does have a diaphragm joint, no waist joint. She goes up and down 360 degrees. And then she's got these weird leg joints which do go front and back and they they go kind of front and back. They got this weird cut at the top which makes them go 360 degrees right there. Weird leg joint. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, double jointed knees. And then uh, the foot articulation is it goes... 360 degrees and up and down, no actual toe articulation. So overall, I think this is uh, the best Black Widow, and it, it's just a, a, a very nicely sculpted figure, and it just looks great, and you definitely should pick her up with the Winter Soldier. So this is Century Productions, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.